Hey guys, Josh here with Mobile Tech Videos. Today I'll be showing you how to theme your Froyo Captivate to look and feel like Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Um, this phone right now is running what uh, I'll be teaching today on how to convert to a, um, an Android 2.3 like theme. Uh, we can see the Nexus style background. Uh, the icons near the top have all been themed to uh, represent the 2.3 with the nice green. If we pull down, we can see our menus are nice and dark. Um, if we click settings, we can see we've got the black style menus. If we hold one, we see the highlight color is now orange, just like gingerbread. Um, if we go a step further and go into the, uh, the menus, we've got this nice neon type color. And... Uh, also, we've, we've even gone even further with this and like taken it to the next step and installed our Android 2.3 gingerbread style keyboard as well. So, what I'll be showing you today is how to get your phone to look like this. Uh, so, it's really cool to play with and it really does feel a lot like 2.3 since I have actually used it. Um, it does have quite a resemblance, so I, I, I think you will actually enjoy this. Um, so, without further ado, let's get involved. Uh, this phone here is a Cognition 2.3 Beta 8 phone. It is a JJ4 build. Uh, obviously in the more info section you can see the mega upload link that I've created with the uh, Mobile Tech Videos uh, zip, I mean the RAR file, uh, that contains all the Clockwork Mod flashable theme packs as well as a script and some APKs that will automatically install into your the phone to, uh, to automatically give you the live wallpaper, uh, the keyboard, and uh, a couple other things uh, to really simplify this process. Um, now, one thing we want to focus on is the type of Clockwork Mod flashable file to pick. Um, first off, for those not understanding what Clockwork Mod is, it's uh, it's a really handy utility to flash zip files, ROMs, and do a ton of other stuff. I'm going to make a video on it in the future, uh, but for now, this is for people that have a rooted device with Clockwork Mod. Um, and know kind of how to use it. Uh, the uh, technique is is essentially the same as flashing a ROM. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing today, except we're going to be flashing a package. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to hit more on that in a video in the future for people that don't understand Clockwork Mod. So let's go ahead and lay out our prereqs. Uh, you need to have an Android 2.2 Captivate uh, build, and it needs to be one of the builds listed in the More Info section. Uh, I believe it's JK3, um, JPU, JPX, uh, there's a bunch of them, and JJ4. Um, all the Cognition builds uh, at, you know, in the past couple of months have been uh, JJ4 based or JI6. Um, so these packages will work for that as well. Today we're covering the Cognition, obviously. For those of you who have flashed my ROM uh, video file, that's 2.3 beta 6. This will work on that. That's actually the phone I showed you before. Uh, so this is 2.3 beta 8, and let's not ramble on anymore. Let's get involved. So first thing we want to do is go to ROM Manager and reboot into recovery. So this will launch and do its thing. We'll say OK to that, and we will reboot into recovery. And we'll say OK. Say allow for super user. Set this phone down real quick. Okay, the phone is booting back up into recovery for Clockwork Mod. Now, at this point, you should have already gone ahead and mounted your storage and picked the flashable zip that you need, put it in the root of the internal SD card like we did. Once you get into Clockwork Mod, you can say install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then we're going to go down and pick the one that we want. We're going to go with the AR Cardinal JJ4 zip. Um, the difference between the two JJ4s is they have a couple of different look and feel options. I'm going to be showing you the AR Cardinal version. It's got some cool uh, animations for when you zip in and out of menus and some things like that. So we're going to pick that and select it. It'll flash really fast. Go back and reboot system. I'm going to set the phone down, let you get caught up and do your thing, and we'll meet up when the phone boots back up. Okay, now that our phone has booted back up, let's take a look at what we got going on here. We can see right away that we've got a new wallpaper that's been flashed. 
Uh, the slide lock is now gray all the way across to resemble more of a, a gingerbread look. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but when you unlock the phone, it does that cool little animation. So a lot of new animations have been in involved in this. So, for example, if we go into the gallery, go back out, you'll see the CRT style close, how it did the from the sides zip. That's really cool. If we click this button, we can see that we've got these black themes with gray buttons. Uh, pull down on that. We've got the black theme going on there. It's really cool looking. And our icons are now the gingerbread style uh, neon green type of uh, colored icons. If we click in the settings and go to an option, we can see that we've got the neon green type text to resemble gingerbread. And if we hold stuff, we've got the orange glow uh, background now. So that's really cool. But if we want to take it a step further, we can make it even look more like gingerbread. Uh, whereas this phone on this side has the nice background, live wallpapers, the capacitive style when you touch it crosses them, uh, as well as the next step uh, for the keyboard that we can see here. If we go into some messaging, we can pull up that keyboard. So we'll notice the keyboard's different, uh, and we can even go a step further and even give this the gingerbread launcher. Well, I've comprised a set of applications into a RAR package along with a batch script to install all that for you with one click. So we can really get that going here. Also, we'll also get the, uh, the new Manage Applications button with the launcher I'm going to install. So let's go ahead and get that installed. We're going to uh, set up uh, USB debugging mode. Click that button down there. Say Settings, Applications, Development. Make sure the USB debugging box is checked. So check it if it's not, say OK. Go back to the home screen and we'll plug in our phone. All right, obviously this is for rooted phones that have 2.2 Froyo installed and one of the builds is available for your theme. Um, to check that, we can check our change log. Uh, for us, we've got Cognition. We can see that the new build was on JJ4 kernel, so we'll use the JJJ. The J, sorry, JJ4 themes. Um, as we can see, we've got our different clockwork mod files available for JJ4, JI6, JK3, JPU, JP6, and J, uh, JPY, JPX. Uh, sorry. Um, so we can check whatever build you have of your ROM, and those are the files you're going to need. Uh, you've got two options for JJ4 and JI6. Uh, that's uh, from two different members. We're going to show you the AR Cardinal is what we're going to flash as this is a JJ4 device. So, enough of the JJ this and JJ that. Once you've verified which uh, build you have on one of these, you can uh, go ahead and do that at this time, see which one you need, download the Gingerbread Theme Mobile Tech Videos RAR package, open it up, and we're going to allow you to do all that, and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, as we talked about in the last step, plug your phone in, make sure it's in debugging mode, download the RAR package that we've provided, and we want to launch this nice handy script that I've made called Mobile Tech Videos Ginger Theme Script. Uh, dot bat. So we want to double click that. We can do it straight from the, uh, the RAR package itself. And let's go ahead and give you a closer look at what that's doing there. Let's see. Back this up and get even a little further in. Okay. We can see that we've got installing gingerbread live wallpaper, keyboard, and launcher. Uh, I've echoed all that off for you, and I've put in a couple of simple ADB commands, as well as the ADB exe, so this can do everything for you just by typing a couple buttons on the keyboard. Uh, we see that we already got our keyboard installed, so we can say, uh, press any key to continue. At that point, it will install the gingerbread launcher. Success. We can press any button to continue installing the gingerbread live wallpaper. We'll press it once more. Success, and now we can press any button to reboot our device. I'm going to back out of this. Make sure that if you've got any work going on on your phone that you save that, because obviously we're about to reboot into recovery. So now, I mean, sorry, we're about to reboot the device. So now, if we press any key, obviously the phone just rebooted, the script exited it. We're going to close the package on this side. This phone's going to reboot, and we're going to catch up with you as soon as it's back up. Okay, now our phone's booted back up. 
I'll go ahead and unplug that. Uh, looks the same right now. We're about to make some changes. When we launch, we see we've got a new option for a launcher. Pick the Modaco option. And we can see that we've got some new icons at the bottom. We now have the Gingerbread Launcher installed, obviously. Now when we click Settings, we see a whole new series of buttons. We've got the Manage App buttons now. That's a quick one-click to see what we've got running. Uh, from there, you can click Uninstall, do all kinds of things. Really cuts down on your time. We're going to go ahead and set that as our default launcher for Madaco. Um, also, now, if we were to go into our messaging application, we could say New, and we obviously notice that we've got... Uh, the gingerbread uh, keyboard is now installed. So if we were to go into our settings, locale and text, we can see that we have the gingerbread keyboard. We'd want to check that. You can say OK when prompted. And then you get your settings. Uh, I have noticed that the vibrate on key press option is not fully working right now. So if that is an absolute feature you've got to have, uh, you may want to not do this. It doesn't bother me so much, so I'll just wait till they push a newer file. But we can choose vibrate on key press, sound on key press, there's a ton of options in here. This is simply the English keyboard, so if you're looking for an other language, um, you'll have to uh, hold off on this mod. So, we've reviewed the keyboard, we've reviewed the launcher. Let's go ahead and press that button, say wallpaper, choose live wallpapers, and bam, you'll notice you've got the nexus a peek inside the neutral network. Let's pick it, set it. And there we go. Now we've got a full themed Android 2.2 Froyo uh, running a theme of Android 2.3 Gingerbread. So now we've given our phone a look and feel that cannot be rivaled to any other phone except the Nexus S. So this really is a very stable way to give your Android Froyo to, to captivate the Android 2.3 Gingerbread look that you've been going for. This will really surprise people. You can totally fool them into thinking that you've got 2.3 uh, but obviously if we go to the about phone we'll see we're still on Android 2.2 but this is a very cool way to theme your phone uh, I've simplified the process by giving you the batch script to really make this easy for you if you appreciate my work please consider donating in the donate linking below uh, the links for the XDA developer threads regarding this theme have been uh, sent in the more info section as well um, the mega upload link is below. All that work was uh, built and put together by me uh, as far as the batch script goes and the APKs. The APKs came from a few different people, so I'm going to link them as well. We do appreciate their work. Uh, as always, please check out some extra videos if you have time in the channel. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. Check out mobiletechvideos.com for the latest news and information about the site and what's coming up. Uh, and, and as always, good luck and Happy New Year.